Oh, it's embarrassing because I was that person who would probably make fun of it. Like, oh, that kid wears glasses. That kid is allergic to peanuts and needs an inhaler and all this. And now I have a child that is exactly like that. Um, I had no idea what an EpiPen looked like, you know, uh, just very clueless. So, yes, it's very frightening, but in the moment, it's like, it's mommy mode. You know, I gotta help my daughter. <laughs> and it's like... I can't describe the feeling of being the one that saved her life. You know, that once you do the EpiPen, it like resolves all the symptoms. And so she comes back and it's like, I just can't describe that feeling. And... I've had to do it for her several times and each time, you know, it's very scary, but it's like, okay, I'm the one saving her life. It's indescribable. I would say the biggest lesson would be mindfulness and just to, I know it's hard to do that because as a person that's not affected by food allergy, you're not even thinking about it. But once you get into a room full of different people, you know, just ask the question, you know, are you allergic to anything? Because I was thinking about making such and such for the potluck. Um, is your child allergic to anything? Because I'd like to invite them to a birthday party. My daughter can't even be in the same room as her allergen. As soon as someone, for example, is eating cashews and they're crunching on the cashews, the proteins are released in the air. If she's breathing that in, she'll go into anaphylactic shock. I feel like nobody really knows about food allergy. Like what people know is what they've seen on TV and movies. Like it's a joke, you know, and I did it on a whim. I was like, you know, nobody knows that there's a food allergy awareness week. And uh, when I sent it up, I wasn't doing it expecting an answer back at all. So it was really a surprise that uh, Governor Kelly signed off on it. But I just wanted the chance for my child and people like her to feel seen and to be able to celebrate themselves. Here is my proclamation. To the people of Kansas, greetings. Whereas, as more than 33 million Americans have food allergies, nearly 6 million are children under the age of 18, and nine foods cause the majority of all food allergy reactions in the U.S. Shellfish, fish, milk, eggs, tree nuts, peanuts, soy, wheat, and sesame. The sy symptoms of a food allergy reaction can range from